Hello everyone and a warm welcome. My name is Clavin. I am a Microsoft Business Applications MVP. In this particular tutorial, we are going to look at automating a very simple task. The task is, I have a SharePoint list and whenever someone goes ahead and adds an item to a SharePoint list, that is a title and an image, the same should be saved into an Excel file. Now when I say the same should be saved in the Excel file, it should also contain the image. This looks like an easy task. You'll say, Clavin, why are you automating it? You can simply go in here and export the file. So if I click on export to CSV, and if I open the file, I get a file, but I see that the images are not coming. It shows me the image location. Uh, similarly, this is a manual process. I want to automate it. How can I do that? The best way to go ahead and achieve this is using Power Automate. But how can I add an image to an Excel sheet? Now, there might be a different way of doing it. But whenever I go ahead and think about Excel, the first thing that comes to my mind is Office Scripts. So let's go ahead and try to understand Office Scripts. To be very honest, since Office Scripts was introduced, it helps me with almost anything related to Excel or anything that is complicated or a little bit cumbersome. So how do I access Office Scripts? I have opened an Excel file. I can click on Automate and here you can find all scripts. You have all the scripts out here which you can use. If you want to create a new script, you can create a script out here as well. Now, let's quickly run the script that comes out of the box. And if you see, the script does something very, very simple. The script goes ahead and the cell that is selected, it goes ahead and fills it with yellow color. Now, this is basic TypeScript. If you want to learn more about Office Scripts, you can visit this URL. which can help you step-by-step step learn about Office Scripts. In fact, there are a few tutorials which are very good. There are script fundamentals, which I would go ahead and highly recommend. As I told you, it's a TypeScript is the language. You have a function. This main function is the starting point of your script. Then you have the object model, with which you can interact with workbooks, worksheets, ranges, and much more. And then you can also console log things. So let's quickly run a very simple, let's modify this and paste it here. Let's quickly run this, right? If you see, it tells me it gets the name of the sheet. If I go ahead and modify the sheet and say Clav Clavin sheet like this, and if I try to run it again, it returns me Clavin sheet. So it can interact with your Excel file. So isn't that awesome? Now that being said, let's get into our use case. What I'm going to do out here is I'm going to cheat a little. I'm going to copy a script, but I'm going to explain it to you. So let me quickly go ahead and copy the script. In fact, let me get rid of this comment. Now, this particular script is very simple. It goes ahead and adds two values to my Excel sheet and it adds a base 64 bit image. Okay, if we start, the main function is the entry point. I get the sheet, I get the row index, and then I get a range of rows. I start with row number A and then start adding the rows. First thing that I go ahead and add is a sample text on uh, which is said in line number 12 then I add a base 64 image I have hard coded it as of now in power automate we will change it with the fields that we need and then what I do is I go ahead and add the image to the sheet and I give my image size okay now let me quickly run this and let's see the output uh, it has inserted the value and it has also inserted the image. Uh, this is what I want to automate. Now with Excel scripts, this has made it very easy. 
So what I'm going to do out here is I'm going to quickly delete everything from my sheet, including this. And I don't want to include this as well. So I'll change the background to white. Let's make it as it is. Let me give my script a meaningful name. I'll give it a name, Excel script to add images, okay? Now, first and foremost, it saves it as an OST file and it saves in a folder named as Clavin Fernandez Office Scripts. Before we save it, I'll quickly open this and if you see, it navigates to my OneDrive and this is a script which we actually ran, but we are going to save it. So I'm going to save the script and it goes into your OneDrive. Okay, so if I refresh it here, the name of the script has changed and the script is saved in my OneDrive. So that's good. Now I'll give my workbook a meaningful name. That's good. I've given my workbook a meaningful name as well. Now that is all good, right? Um, but before we go into my Power Automate, what I need to do is I need to go ahead and modify this script. So if I cl click on Automate and this is the script that I created, I'll click on Edit Code. I don't want to pass in hard-coded values. What I want to pass in is the values for my list. That is the title, maybe the SP image, that is the image column, and the created by, okay, or the created value. So to do that, I'll go back to my list and I need to go ahead and add some fields out here that can be inputted. So where do I add the fields? I should add the fields out here. So I'm going to quickly add fields. So let me add the field. The first field that I'm going to add is, do a comma, hit enter, a title. Then I'll say created by Let's do it that way and let's give it a data type string. Just give it a comma and then I'll also give in an image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give an image of type string because I'm going to pass in the base64. Okay, so this looks good. Let me just check it again. Title created by an image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change a few things out here. Now, instead of having the set row like this, that is the hard-coded value, I can just say title. Now, here, my friends, you look at this. This is very powerful. It also gives me IntelliSense. So I'm passing the title here, and I'm going to pass in the created by here. And in the base64, what I'm going to do is I will try to pass in the image and I can say image right at this point the script looks good and I have inserted dynamic values so these values I'm going to fill in using power automate that is whenever somebody adds an item to a list it should pick up these items and add it to my excel file so I'm going to go back and I'm going to create an automated flow. And I'm going to create an automated flow saying when an item is created or modified. Now let me pull it up here. Let me give it the SharePoint site address. And I'll give it cloud list. That looks good. Next, what I'm going to do is I have the SharePoint item let me get the item so that i can access all the properties that i need so i'll click on get item i'll again give it my site url i'll give it my list name which is going to be cloud list i'm going to give this the id that's perfect now to get the image from the list can be a little bit tricky and i have a whole tutorial on this if you want to understand step by step I'm using an HTTP trigger to get the image. To get the image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say underscore API, get by title, and the title would be cloudlist. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say items, 
going to pass in the item out here. So let me click on this. I'll pass in the ID. And I'm going to pass in the name of the image, that is SPIMG, right? Now at this point, I'm going to give it a meaningful name and I'm going to try to test it because this is the place where we might mess up a bit. So I'm going to add an item. I'll just say testing list. I'll add an image and the image has been added. So let me go back to my flow and let it, let's see the output. If it fails, if it gives me an error or if it succeeds. So let's quickly look at the output of the send HTTP action. So here, if you see, it returns me a file name, right? It returns me a file name, which is what I need. However, it's under the D results and there is the name of my column. I just need the file name. I don't need the whole JSON. So to do that, let's add in a compose so that we can compose our formula. So I'll cl click in compose and here I'm going to add in an expression. So let me put in FX. And first thing, if you remember, it was a JSON. So I'll say JSON. I need to access the variables. So I'm going to access the whole body, correct? And then I need to access the D result. Then I needed to access the name of my column because the column name was there. So this is good. Now that I have access the column name, I need to access the file name. Make sure that you are outside the bracket. So I'll access the file name. And this should be a formula. Let's go ahead and have it here. And let's quickly test it. Perfect. So here you see my friends, I have the perfect file name out here. And now that I have the perfect file name to access the name of the variable, as I told you, I have a blog out here, which I'm going to share on my screen, which I have written, which also includes a video tutorial. This is what I was talking about. Uh, it has a tutorial on step by step of this. If this tutorial is too fast for the power automate, because we are actually focusing on two topics here, the office script, as well as inserting data, you need to go ahead and build in this URL. That is, you need to get to the list item and then you need to go ahead and get in the attachments, pass it the ID and the file name. Okay. So that is what we are going to quickly do out here. We are going to go into here and I'm going to say get file content because we have the file name and we will so we'll say get file content using path we'll use this one we'll give it the site we'll give it the file path uh, to give the file path what we need to do is we need to say forward slash list the name of a list so let me, so it has to be forward slash list the name of my list which is cloud list, right? Cloud list, just copy pasting it. Then we need to access the attachments. Then we need to pass it the, oops, then we need to pass it the ID. So dynamic values, let's pass in the ID. And then what I need to do is, I need to pass it the file name, which is stored in the compose. So I'll say insert dynamic variable. I'll add this out here again. And this is how it should look. So if I save this at this point, and if I run it, I have the file content, right? The file content is here and I can use it. So now that we have the file content, let's get the workbook and let's fill it up. So let's use the run script from SharePoint action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say workbook location. So my workbook is located in my communication site. That's where it is. Where is my workbook? It's stored in the documents. Um, 
then I'll select my workbook which is the export list workbook now where is my script the script is in my OneDrive where is the script library it's in OneDrive and if I go back here I showed you previously it's under documents and office script so I can just quickly go to documents office script and here I can select my script which is this one perfect right now as soon as I select my script I get these fields okay I had to click out and click in if it did not if it doesn't come to you automatically here click out like this click on it again and it comes back here I can insert dynamic values so I can insert the title and I need to insert the created by I'm not going to search for it I'll say created by display name so here I need to pass in the image at the end so what I'm going to do let me just quickly go ahead and say compose if you remember it was of type string but it was base 64 string right so I'll click on it again I'll click on function and I'll say base 64 and then I wanted to pass it as a string so base 64 bit string here I can pass it but what I'm going to do I'm going to put in two double quotes and I'm going to pass in the output of compose one okay compose one holds it and I'll save it now that I have saved it right now that I have saved it I can quickly go ahead and test it so I'll say automatic and I'll try to test it let's see if we get an error or if it successfully completes okay it successfully completed and here if you see my friends I see that my value has been added the created by has been added and the image has all has also been added you can play with the height or you can play with the size of the image in your Excel file so here my friends we have com we so here my friends we have automated a complicated task using office scripts and Excel I hope this tutorial was informative so thank you everyone and see you in the next tutorial bye bye